I'd like to welcome you all to the uh, March 5th uh, Open Space uh, Greenways uh, Committee meeting. And could we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and for the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, in the package that I have uh, given, uh, given you, you have the uh, uh, minutes of the March meeting, which I sent to you last week. Uh, and uh, is there any changes? Or if not, we call for the question. Approval. Yes. I, I moved. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's not necessary, but that's fine. Okay. Are there um, are there any revisions to the agenda from any of the committee members? I have uh, a couple of them. And if uh, first of all. Uh, let's uh, go down and uh, instead of the welcome the new member for the project status, that would be new member pending for the committee. Oh, okay. They'll be on project status. Uh, prepare the annual report that's done, so we'll remove that from the agenda, but I'll make some comments on that. And. Uh, uh, we'll leave that, uh, recommend new member, we'll leave that in as, as such. And uh, at the end of the meeting, we're adding an item for the recognition to uh, Pat Nielsen for her years of service on the uh, Open Space Committee. Uh, this will be Pat's last meeting. She's, uh, she's leaving us and we're very sad to see her go and we wish her uh, best of luck, and we'll have a little recognition for her at the end of the meeting. So I'd like to ask for approval for the revisions that I've made. So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, let's start with the uh, uh, reports. Uh, Carl? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The sole update I have is the property on Ferry Road that's going to connect Ferry with Gage, the uh, new Ferry Trail, if you will. Uh, the purchase uh, offer has been signed by the seller, and we are awaiting the Phase 1 environmental analysis to confirm that there's no obvious contamination on the property. And a closing on that is expected in April. I've spoken with Township Manager Dale Ream, and this appears to be a go. Should not be any problems. The board, uh, as you know, approved the purchase to replace the old trail, and uh, we look forward to uh, proceeding with that. I did ask Dale for topographical maps that he has in the area so that when we place the trail, it'll be with the recognition that it'll be on uh, ground that hopefully will not be able to uh, um, need chips on a consistent basis due to flooding. So we're looking at reducing the maintenance cost going forward on the new ferry trail. And that's my report. Thank you. Uh, Bird is not here, so we'll dispense with the Gross Hill Nature Land Conservancy. Uh, Kyle, anything happening new with the Recreation uh, Commission? Yes, uh, the Recreation Commission met last week. We were very lucky to have Trustee Blesher there uh, with us and he gave a good report on what was happening with open space. The most exciting thing that happened at the Recreation Commission meeting was that uh, we officially voted to give the space over here um, in recreation land by the airport uh, to the to Gyra Baseball. Um, so uh, it was a phase one vote so we just voted to give them the land. Uh, Gyra Baseball still needs to come back with uh, uh, engineer and township approved drawings um, for the baseball field to move forward. Um, but that vote was to allow them to say that they had the land and continue to raise funds uh, to build that uh, baseball field. 
Um, a personal thing that I raised uh, that I've been trying to get answers for is um, when the decision was made to, to fill that in, if uh, any environmental study was done as to its effect on the wetlands behind as well as uh, Frenchman's Creek, which uh, is drainage for a huge part of the island. Um, so I'm, I'm still looking into answers into that myself. Um, but, but it passed, everyone voted for it, and, uh, and we're looking forward to seeing how, how it does. Thank you very much, Kyle. Appreciate it. Uh, as far as the uh, uh, beautification uh, committee, uh, Pam? Uh, nothing really to report except that we didn't meet in January and February, but we are meeting in March, and our first meeting for this 2019 will be uh, tomorrow here at the township. And we're gearing up for the spring, which is coming. <laughs> Very good, Pam. Thank you. Let's hope spring comes soon. <laughs> Get rid of this cold weather. Uh, from the Gross Hill Schools, uh, Linder, is there anything to report? Um, so we are still collecting um, cosmetic empty cosmetic containers to recycle. Um, we just finished our Change for Change fundraiser and we were able to raise $580 to send medication to Africa. So I'm really proud of that. And I think that's about everything that I have to report right now. Okay, just as a comment, we're, we're eagerly uh, awaiting uh, the resolution, not resolution, but completing the paperwork for the ferry trail and to begin construction as quickly as possible. And if memory serves, I believe the cross country meets in the fall, is it not? Mm -hmm. Okay. Track is starting up in the spring in cross country. I was in high in school, that's, that's, when, uh, that's when the cross country was and that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, the, uh, from the bike path committee, uh, I'd like to ask, uh, Dan, if he could come up and just give a short uh, update of uh, where we stand with the bike, uh, bike path committee. Okay, thank you. There's a couple of things we've got going on. Um, <coughs> we've got a, a proposed bicycle skill class scheduled for three Tuesdays in a row, uh, probably at the public safety department. Um, it'll be geared towards 10 and above. Um, if we're, we're looking into having under 10, they must be accompanied by a parent. The other thing we've got going is we applied for a SEMCOG grant, we got it, and what we're going to do with those funds is we're going to purchase bike lights, wristbands, and some information on bike safety that will be passed out at, at a determined location. We haven't decided whether to do it at bike to school, day, school to bike day or whatever it is, or if we're going to have a special event for that. Also, we have a partnership with the police department that uh, they're going to carry the bands and the lights, a, a few of them at a time, in the s police cars. So if they see someone on the path without a bike light or a walker without a wristband at night, they're going to pass them out and give them some guidance. That's it. Thank you very much, Welcome. Dan. Appreciate it. If I may, um, I was going on the Internet, and Grosio Walks and Bikes has a site there and I just want to commend you folks that is an awesome site um, the Grozio walks and bikes and um, chairman no thank you and and I think that as we get going that open space might want to do something to encourage people to walk on our trails resurrect that video we did and do some other things to get people walking on the at trails. a website it's it's a is it on Facebook? I think it's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. Yeah, yeah they have a Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's Grozio walks and bikes. bikes. Okay, well, we make sure we take uh, take advantage of that. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, let's see. The next item is the uh, welcome letters. John Meyer. John Meyer had a health issue this afternoon, and he won't be with us tonight. But John told me that he has sent out uh, uh, 22 letters this month, welcome letters. That uh, and for just for a kind of review, we we set up a system with our 
uh, public uh, services department that whenever a new resident moves to Grove Seal, uh, it's put on a list and we send them a, uh, a letter, welcome them to the community, send them a copy of our open space guide and with other certain pertinent information. It's like a, a very low key welcome wagon. So we've been doing this now for about maybe four or five years. And I think we've sent out at least <clears throat> maybe two or 300 letters in the last three or four years. What, what we have is an average of 20 letters a month. Right. Yeah. The next item, and this is kind of like an update, uh, the Nature Guide, uh, John Meyer, Bert Urbani and myself are updating uh, the nature guide. We had one meeting and we got most of it, uh, most of it completed, and we're going to be giving it to the. We've given it to the Na Gross Eagle Nature Land Conservancy for any changes that they be making. Uh, they might be making on their sheet, on their uh, their portion of the guide. And I'm hoping to have this this guide ready to go to the uh, printers by maybe late April, and so we can get it out to the community in uh, May or June. Uh, what we'll probably be doing, we, uh, we've had great success in sending the, the guides out through the uh, local Kroger store. I think we've sent out 76, 700 copies We'll make them available to anybody who wants them. Here at the township, we'll give some to the uh, uh, bike path committee if they want to pass them out. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, getting that updated guide in the hands of all our residents. Uh, as far as the uh, trail extension for, for the ferry road, uh, Carl, uh, we have sent uh, uh, requests for quotes out to three companies to, to bid on putting the trail. We've got one response so far. I should be getting the other one. I've extended it uh, to <coughs> March 13th to, to get their bids in. Given the uh, terrible conditions we've been having as far as weather is concerned, and if if uh, I'm stand if I'm correct, uh, we will not be doing anything physical on that land until such time as uh, all the environmental issues are addressed and the final, as I say, the I's are are dotted and the T's are crossed before we start any work on that. That would include minimally the environmental phase one analysis as well as uh, a closing on that. To make sure that it is ours, uh, yes, absolutely. and that we have uh, an opportunity to review the maps that will show the elevations that will help us uh, put in a good trail. So, those are the three things that we need to do before we go forward. Uh, I would recommend talking to Township Manager Reem about opening up the uh, responses uh, when those come in, so that we're in conformity with uh, the bidding requirements of the state. Okay, very good. And I think we. Uh we sent out, uh, let's see, we sent out three requests for bids, and I think that's, that's normally, in the business world, that's basically what we've, what we've always done. So now, as far as, uh, I'll talk to you later about, you know, in other words, a proper way to uh, award the bid. Uh, I think we have to get uh, <coughs> approval from the board to spend the money. That is correct. So we'll be doing that, and I'll be getting with you on that. Look forward to it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that's, the next item is on the action items is Centennial Farm Open Space in, Encroachment. Uh, this is at the Centennial Farm. And, uh, Daryl, I think you and I took a trip to, to look at that area. I think there was one area that was non-compliant and I think that individual has agreed to make the correction to right him. yeah he's gonna make the correction on it and get back with us yeah so he's not gonna do it now of course there's too much snow but right uh, we're looking we're looking forward to that and it's something that we should be hopefully monitoring uh, 
with, uh, uh, with due diligence. Mr. Chairman, if I may add to that, I did have a chance to speak with the ordinance officer, Tony Gray. And Tony is aware of the situation, and Tony and his uh, um, best approach has spoken with the landowner and said, uh, pointed out the um, problem with uh, that, if we can be charitable, trespass, and that's going to be resolved. Uh, the homeowner has said, yes, uh, it's been a good ride, and I am going to uh, try and have everything uh, taken care of by April 1. So it was done without any kind of uh, difficulty. And thanks to Tony Gray for making uh, something that had all the potential for some unhappiness uh, resolve in a very, very easy going, pleasant manner. Uh, we like to work with the citizens. And uh, Tony indicated uh, the gentleman was just very pleasant, very cooperative, and understood the problem. So we anticipate that problem resolving. He said by April 1, but uh, the weather is certainly a factor, and it may be later than that. But all signs indicate a positive, easy approach. Well, we appreciate Tony's efforts in this. So Tony's a very uh, diligent yet very polite and uh, very uh, upbeat individual when he deals with these type of issues. Okay, we're going through rather quickly. Uh, because we have a lot of, uh, we don't want to keep you too long. Uh, next item that came up, uh, uh, Daryl, you had a discussion with me the other day about sp small lots. Would you want to talk yeah, about that? I think, I think we should uh, review all the small lots that uh, we have in open space, and if there's uh, anything there that uh, we could dispose of, I think we should dispose of it. But... Uh, a lot of them are a good size, but uh, I think it's still worth a review to look at everything that we have in, on open yeah. space. I think there are very few there are very few lots that, to, to my recollection, but I think it's, it's still good to take a look at it. Take a look at everything. Just take a look at it. Then, uh, Just keep in mind that these the open space properties, even though they might be small, they were bought with the idea to maintain the natural. Uh, review and the, the natural character of the island and perhaps maybe one of these small lots we there may be something a little unique we might want to do with that Instead of exactly. putting a trail in maybe we could put something there which people might want to sit down and just enhance them and, and yeah. have some okay we'll continue to to work on that effort then as you can see we've gone through this area this meeting rather quickly there's nothing uh, uh, of any uh, uh, controversy that I'm aware of. Um, I'd like to open up the floor for any discussions from uh, uh, the audience, if there's anything, or or if, if is there anything that anybody would like to say, uh, Dan? Okay. So what I usually do, I usually start at the end of the uh, of the row here. If anybody has any any comments. Uh, Kyle? Nothing to add at this moment, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, I'm wondering, you said the new member is pending? Is, yes. Is this person, he's been interviewed? And oh. Yeah, yeah. Pardon me? I'm sorry. I didn't. I was distracted. I'm sorry. He's been interviewed and, and uh, accepted? Yes. Dan Jester has, was recommended by our committee to the Township Board uh, as a full-fledged member of the Open Space Committee. And I believe that, is that going to be uh, about February or March 11th? That's what I'm hoping, uh, expecting uh, okay. to be March 11th. Um, I know that you had an email exchange with uh, Brian Friel, the Deputy Township Clerk, and uh, um, he certainly will be on board before the next meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it was brought to my attention that I did it again. I forgot one item, and that is the Manchester Trail extension that I forgot to, to include going through so fast here. Basically what that is, now that we have uh, purchased the area known as, formerly known as Wright Woods, this gives us the opportunity to uh, 
put an extension onto that closed loop trail that we have in the uh, Manchester Woods area uh, to either go out to Manchester R Road or possibly to East River Road. And that's something that we're, that the committee is going to be looking at and investigating as a future trail extension for, uh, for that loop trail. And I think we'll be probably doing that when the weather breaks, so probably sometime in April. Any comments on that? Okay. If not, we have one more item to take care of. And uh, it's with great sadness that I announce that again that uh, uh, Pat Nielsen is going to be uh, leaving us, and this is going to be her last meeting. I will not ask her to prepare the minutes if unless she wants to. Well, you had asked me that, and I said I would. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to, uh, this is rather informal, but to uh, give you a copy of a letter that uh, we prepared, and uh, it's, it's been signed by all the members of our committee and members of the township staff. Oh, wow. So, Pat, thank you so much for your help. It's, it's not much, but our hearts are in it. So well, thank, thank you. you so much for your years of service. Thank we you appreciate so much. it. This is great. I just want to say that it has been a pleasure. I have made so many friends. Um, my heart is with the open space group, and um, it, it, it's hard, but I will miss you all. Just one final thing that uh, uh, she is leaving us, however, <laughs> <laughs> however, she has agreed to be an overseer for the uh, wildlife sanctuary, which is her her first love, and uh, as a as a member of the island beautification committee, <laughs> that area has been under the tutelage of that committee since Garden Club. Yes, you're right, Garden Club. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Garden Club, since what, 1943. Yes which is before a lot of us were born, but not all of us. <laughs> right. So Pam has continued, has agreed to be in it. That means she can uh, tell us anything that's going on that needs correcting, but she doesn't have to attend the meetings. Correct. Okay. Thank you. How many years was Pat on board? Nine. Nine? Okay. Nine. Yeah. Time flies. That's why nice. She was a teenager when she came on board. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, Pam, you have to keep all these guys in check. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got Lyndon. <laughs> Between the two of us, we yeah. will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. But I, I do want to say one last thing that I did manage to do tonight. Um, I had received a letter from the Kiwanis identifying uh, the high school key club and the Middle School Builders Club programs. And these youngsters are dedicated to doing community service. And I spoke with Linda, and Linda said that she is on the school key, key club, and she will interface with them for us. And um, probably we can get her to do the middle school so that we have young people coming so that those of us who are who no longer seen as middle years and we've gone into the golden years will have some strength and vitality to help us do our task. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Good. Linda, do you have anything else you'd like to add? I think that's it. Okay. Carl? No, sir. If not, I'd like to call for the question. The meeting be adjourned. Oh, Daryl, move. I moved. Uh, I'll second for my last official thing. <laughs>
Okay, now that the meeting is over, uh, we are going to continue our discussions about the open space program at the uh, local bistro. You're all invited to come over. It's at Smokey's. So if you want to come over and have a, uh, a, a Pepsi or a Coke <laughs> or a pizza. And uh, Carl, I think you can have a beer. I mean, I think you're... you're, 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 you're I, uh, I would just like to add that I have had the pleasure of knowing um, Pat for about two and a half years. When I sought a seat on the township board, I was going door to door. And I first uh, met Pat and her husband, Dick. They were out in the yard doing some yard work when I walked up. And uh, it was with a little trepidation. Uh, she asked me, uh, what is your feeling about open space? And uh, I had some very uh, strong feelings and still do that it's a very important part of the community. But I'm also looking at uh, a couple who have a house on uh, East River and probably pay rather extraordinary taxes. And uh, I simply looked at her and said that I have been to a number of national parks, A to Z, Acadia to uh, Zion, and everywhere, a lot of places in between. And uh, I found very quickly that I was welcome there. She has a passion and enthusiasm. And on behalf of the township board, uh, we are going to miss you. We hope that uh, you come back and visit to keep uh, all of us, uh, whether focus and our compass on uh, what is important about open space and if you have any ideas or any thoughts as to what we can do i would certainly hope that uh, you would be able to come back and say uh, linder you've got these gentlemen working well but we've got a couple of things that need attention <laughs> so please uh, on behalf of the township board thank you for your nine years of service i have enjoyed working with you um, even from those first couple of moments when we met um, you have been very, very passionate, and I just want to say I appreciate your dedication and all the time that you've done, and we're going to miss you, but please don't be a stranger. Thank you. And I'll thank you for everything you've done. Godspeed to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the meeting is officially closed, and uh, we will adjourn to the uh, local uh, pub. pub. <laughs> yeah, those of you, can, can anybody, everybody come? <laughs>